last night I signed legislation to reopen our government and pay America's bills because Democrats and responsible Republicans came together. The first government shutdown in 17 years is now over. The first default in more than 200 years will not happen. Now, these twin threats to our economy have now been lifted, and I want to thank those Democrats and Republicans for getting together and ultimately getting this job done. Now, there's been a lot of discussion lately of the politics of this shutdown. But let's be clear, uh, there are no winners here. These last few weeks have inflicted completely unnecessary damage on our economy. We don't know yet the full scope of the damage, but every analyst out there believes it slowed our growth. We know that families have gone without paychecks or services they depend on. We know that potential home buyers have gotten fewer mortgages and small business loans have been put on hold. And of course, we know that the American people's frustration with what goes on in this town has never been higher. That's not a surprise, that the American people are completely fed up with Washington. At a moment when our economic recovery demands more jobs, more momentum, we've got yet another self-inflicted crisis that set our economy back. And for what? There was no economic rationale for all of this. The agency that put America's credit rating on watch the other day explicitly cited all of this saying that our economy remains more dynamic and resilient than other advanced economies, and that the only thing putting us at risk is, and I'm quoting here, repeated brinksmanship. That's what the credit rating agency said. That wasn't a political statement. That was an analysis of what's hurting our economy by people whose job it is to analyze these things. But probably nothing has done more damage to America's credibility in the world, our standing with other countries, than the spectacle that we've seen these past several weeks. It's encouraged our enemies, it's emboldened our competitors, and it's depressed our friends who look to us for steady leadership. All my friends in Congress understand that how business is done in this town has to change, because we've all got a lot of work to do on behalf of the American people, and that includes the hard work of regaining their trust.